When people think about 369, their first thought might be of his reverse sweep at Worlds. Cast's famous scolding, or some of the classic three moments. That we remember throughout the many splits. So, what then does that make 369? A meme player or a definition of skills? Which one is the real 369? What more surprises will he give us? And what pressure will he put on top laners from other regions this year? To find out, we must first understand the story of 369. In April 2018, 369 joined King of Future, a secondary league team that later became the top esports second team. It marked the beginning of his pro career. 369's outstanding performances promoted him to top esports first team the same year in November. He officially entered the LPL stage the following year in 2019. He received a lot of attention as a rookie raised local as soon as he appeared in the public eye. Zach, here we go. 369 just walks down from top lane. Rookie is level 6 or level 5, but it's not going to matter. Flashes there and first flight over to 369. According to 369, he didn't put much thought into his ID. But because of his ups and downs on the rift, fans interpreted his ID 369 as numbers on dice. When his dice roll three, when he gets defeated by solo top laners that he faces, or runs in without thinking. When his dice roll nine, on the other hand, it's his solo kills with cannon against stars like Lil Shy. Three six nine wants to go for the solo dive. Three six nine readily accepted these different interpretations of him. His easygoing personality made a favorable impression on the audience. In 2019, the only big name player on top esports was Knight. However, in that same year, with a top four finish in both splits, people started to take notice. 369 wowed the crowds with his performance and showed a promising start to his career. Jackie Love and Casa joined the team in 2020, and Top Esports had one of the most outstanding lineups of all time. This dream team topped the charts, winning their first ever domestic title and going to both split finals in the same year. With the new Top Esports, 369 hoisted his first ever league championship trophy. The same year at Worlds, Top Esports reached the quarterfinals. They broke the record as the first team to complete a reverse sweep in a best of five game. Top Esports had limitless potential, with 369 as their rising star. Flash over the wall from Nemesis, doesn't really find the taunt. Goes golden and self made forced to run for his life. There's not enough damage, there's not enough connecting, and it's Top Esports that are winning this fight. Pupo goes down. With only a change in the support position, Top Esports was unable to perform in 2021. They lost their tickets to Worlds after their loss against LNG in the summer playoffs. 369 was identified as the person to blame in the famous documentary. Memes of him circulated. It became his trademark. People no longer cared how well he played. And when faced with such pressure, some may choose to give up, but 369 did not. In 2022, 369 left Top Esports to join JDG. It was a journey filled with unknowns. He had to prove himself to wash away those negative views about his skills and he successfully managed to do so. Returning on a new team, 369 unveiled his Nah and Gragas once again, showcasing some of his insane highlights like his Nah ulti in the 1v5. Or his solo kill against Jackie Love as a Gragas. 
he demonstrated that he practiced hard, even on his criticized champions. 369 was successful again, with JDG able to finish fourth in spring and be the first team to lock in playoffs in summer. In the 2022 summer split, 369 has ranked first, second, and third in things like KDA, solo kills, damage per minute, damage over gold, damage taken, and even damage percentage. 369, who was once criticized for his inconsistency, has evolved into a reliable carry player. 369 now, who only rolls nine and can carry JDG to victory. 369 never refuted comments made about him, and even occasionally made fun of himself with the memes. He's never afraid to admit his mistakes, and he also has never given up on himself. The hard work from this man has changed the people's perceptions of him as a simple dice player. Using his consistent results, he turned a question of probability into a reason of inevitability. Highlights of 369 may not be as prominent in online forums as some of his locker room drama is, but nevertheless, the player has never missed an LPL playoffs. He's won the MSC, taken a domestic title, and the Demacia Cup three times in the two years since his debut. We remember his performance at 2021 Worlds, the best of five reverse sweep of Fnatic, and of course, the pentakill against the world champions in EDG. All of these plays exist, all of these memories are there because he's a good player and because of his gradually maturing heart. It's a triple kill, comes for 369. Plantry goes the down quadra. for the quadra kill. And 369, charging JJ down. He wants himself <laughs> the penta and missing there to give him the movement speed. The blast code ain't enough. And 369's rolling only nine today. The penta kill for 369. You can't be a good pro gamer if you can't take criticisms. And with that lesson from 369, we watch his adventure continue with the enormous mountains of his future possibilities.